Hello everybody, this is Valencia and welcome to my channel Balloons and Business where I show you the business of balloon and event decor. Today I'm going to show you how I did this simple setup from the curtain backdrop to this 8 foot balloon garland complete with palm leaves. Now this is just a mock-up that I did at home, but I believe that practice is important to improve your technique, balloon garland shape, and overall setup quality. So if you want to see how I made this, just stay tuned. So I'm going to start off by creating my curtain backdrop. I bought four sets of these five foot wide by seven feet long polyester white curtains off of Amazon. And just a note that everything that I am presenting to you, I will put in the description box on where I purchased it from. Now this pipe and drape stand that I bought from Amazon is an adjustable stand. It goes from seven feet to 10 feet high and seven feet to 10 feet wide. My backdrop stand is currently set up to be seven feet high by seven feet wide. Now I purchased these curtains because they're pretty low maintenance in my opinion. They're made out of polyester, I believe, and they're easy to clean and they're also easy to get straight. All I have to do is just throw them in the dryer and that takes the wrinkles out for the most part. They're also not very see-through, unlike other curtains that I was looking at. So I bought these in packs of two and again, each pack has two panels of five by seven foot curtains. So I purchased a total of 20 feet worth of curtains to fill this seven by seven foot backdrop. So my balloon garland, I'm going to start off by blowing up two balloons and rounding them out by releasing air, pressing them down on the surface and releasing air from the top. Then I'm going to tie the two balloons together into a dupe and I'm going to leave some slack at the neck so it'll be easy for me to do my twist and tie method for making my balloon garland base. Now the colors that I'm using are Sempertex white sand in 12 inch and 24 inch. Sempertex Eucalyptus in 5 inch and 12 inch and Tuftex White in 12 inch and 18 inch. I also use some 5 inch Calisan Mirror Gold balloons. Just a note, some of these balloons are recycled and I use recycled balloons often when I'm doing mock-ups for you guys. So once I'm done tying my balloons into dupes, I'm going to twist them together into clusters. Now note when I'm twisting my dupes together into clusters, I am double twisting them to make sure they're in there nice and secure. And I'm color blocking, so I'm twisting dupes of the same color together into clusters. So for the white balloons, I twisted together six dupes a cluster, which is 12 balloons total. For the eucalyptus cluster, I twisted together seven dupes together, which is 14 balloons total. And I did this because I didn't have any larger balloons in the eucalyptus color. And for the white sand, I twisted six dupes, which is 12 balloons total. Now just a note, I will be making two clusters of eucalyptus, one cluster of white sand, and one cluster of white balloons for this balloon garland. Now to connect my clusters, I will take one neck from one balloon in one cluster, and one neck from another balloon in another cluster, and I will tie them together. Now this can be a little tricky at first, that's why it's important to make sure the necks of your balloons are nice and stretchy when you're tying them together into dupes. Now to attach my balloon garland base to the backdrop, I will be using a 160 balloon. You can also use a 260 balloon. And I just wrapped it around that balloon garland, left two ends out, and I'll take those two ends, wrap it around one of the poles in my base, and then tie them together. And I did this at the midpoint, the bottom, and the very top. Now we'll be attaching clusters to this balloon garland by using the necks of the balloons and tying them to a neck of a balloon in the balloon garland, twisting them in to the balloon garland, and also by using 160 balloons. I'll tie 160 balloon around one cluster and then I'll wrap it around some balloons in the pre-existing balloon garland and attach it that way. 
I wanted to show you the different ways in which I attach clusters to the balloon garland base so that just in case you're having difficulty finding a neck in the balloon garland to attach your clusters to, you'll know that you can twist in your dupes or you can attach your clusters using a 160 or 260 balloon. You can also use rubber bands and I'll have to do a tutorial on how you can attach clusters using a rubber band. Now, as I was adding clusters to this balloon garland and thickening it up, I realized I didn't really like the shape of it. It just looked like a very thick mass, no shape, no flow. So I started removing balloons from this balloon garland by simply untwisting some of my dupes from the clusters. So I was just untwisting some of the dupes and I also cut some of the clusters that I added with the 160 balloon. So I just got some scissors and cut that 160 balloon that was connecting the clusters. And I just started reshaping my balloon garland and twisting dupes, cutting out clusters and um, repurposing some of the clusters in different areas. Like I just put that white sand cluster that was on top of the balloon garland and I put it on the bottom to spread it out at the base. And I'm adding that eucalyptus cluster back to the top of the balloon garland. In my mind, I saw this balloon garland being a more curvy shape and peeking up and out at the top. I also wanted the colors to look like they're melting into each other and not just, you know, contrasting in such a stark manner. So I wasn't quite content with the shape yet, but I decided to add my five inch mirror gold clusters to the balloon garland while I figured things out. So I just twisted together a couple of dupes of five inch balloons and I took a half of a 160 balloon, tied it around that cluster and then I just attached it to the balloon garland where I wanted to fill in gaps and add complexity to the balloon garland. Now I chose the mirror gold color as an accent to the balloon garland and also because I couldn't find my five inch decorators for my white and white sand balloons. Now at this point I figured that I had to do something about this shape. So I removed some balloons from that eucalyptus cluster right there in the middle to give it more of that curve that I wanted. And then I removed that big balloon from the white cluster to take out some of that bulk and give it more curve. Then I rearranged some of those five inch decorators. And now I'm adding some small clusters at the white sand at the bottom to make it look like it's spreading out at the ground. And then I just added an extra cluster right there of the eucalyptus to fill in that gap right there underneath the white balloons. Now I am more pleased with this shape. So I decided to use my five inch eucalyptus balloons to make some small clusters to help attach these palm leaves to the balloon garland in a more inconspicuous manner. And just to show you in a little bit more detail, I covered the ends of those palm leaves with a balloon to prevent the stems from popping them. And then I made a small eucalyptus cluster. I tied it to the base of those leaves with a 160 balloon. And I used that same 160 balloon to tie around the balloon garland to attach the palm leaves. And I did this so that you won't see like the stem part of the palm leaves. So here is the finished product to my curtain backdrop and balloon garland mock-up. As I mentioned before, practice is very important to me because it helps me improve my technique, my balloon garland shapes, and just perfect my craft. And I would definitely suggest this for anybody who's trying to do this professionally. Just a reminder. All materials and equipment that I use will be listed in the description box below this video. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead on and like it and please subscribe. And you'll get notifications on future videos on balloon and event decor. 
And until next time, I'll see you guys later.